Hello everyone! Hey! Welcome back! And welcome back to our final review of Cooper Island! Yes, with the doggy! Such a lovely doggy. We just played a full game of it. If you want to look at the first round and the rules over you can check the link down in the description below. And if you want to see the rest of the playthrough, the whole five rounds, you can like click on another link in the description below. Other than that, we could review the game. Yes, yes we could. Components and art and theme. Anything but the gameplay. <laughs> I was just wondering whether he was potty trained on the ship or not, mm. because it matters thematically. Well, that's why it's called a poop deck. Anywho, um, I think before we started, we all complained about uh, this, which is like... You can remove the... Yeah. It's just a thin piece, piece of, of paper. cardboard, which is weird because... There was a lot of, very clearly a lot of effort yeah. was put into this segment of the board and then zero put into this, which is, again, weird. But yes, I personally kind of like the art. Mm -hmm. I, 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 mean, I find the graph. colors a bit weird because everything is kind of reduced to brown. Yeah. Which is, like, none of this pops in any way which is weird but other than that it's clear it's easy to understand i like it the art is very nice the yeah, dog is adorable is clear. yeah right uh the art and the cards i have to say are unique for every card i believe oh. so that's a little a ni nice little touch yeah definitely um yeah i wish like in terms of components other other than that i wish the workers were a bit more interesting they're just circles and squares Mm -hmm. um, and the resemblance to Terra to uh, Terra Mystica Terra Mystica is uncanny. Uncanny, exactly. It does not uh, do justice to the game. I mean, it doesn't benefit the game. Um, so, and also, by the way, Catan also uses these exact pieces. Well, so that's they probably had leftovers in the factory. Yeah, for sure. Maybe from it's the cheaper. molds. Yeah, uh, but the the board I think is nice, right? Yeah, yeah. The, I think fine sums it up real, real good. It's functional. It's, it's not func extraordinary, but it's, it's fun. Not, it's functional. The, it's not subpar. Right? The, no, it's definitely not subpar. The way you build the board, depending on number of players, is is nice. Also, again, not unique, but functional and 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 serves its purpose. The color palette leaves something to be desired. This could have been much more than a generic brownish euro. Uh, the components are okay, I guess. Like they, they again mm -hmm. serve their purpose. Besides the yeah. player yeah. cardboards, which are yeah. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? Mm -hmm. um, Especially when so much effort was put yeah. into the rest. Of yeah, it. there's a balance issue. Not to the mechanic, not to the gameplay, to the effort put into the game. Like there's a lot mm -hmm. of thought put into this, and the idea of traveling with ships to gain VP is is kind of unique it's a vp board but not really just a vp board a vp track sorry uh and and then the art on the board is generic but the art on the cards is unique like why would you do that why would you emphasis on interesting little touches to cards but yeah. the board is very generic mm -hmm. i don't get yes that makes sense yeah okay um gameplay uh mechanisms and we're back where we're talking about, and now we're going to talk about gameplay. Yeah, we're sorry about that. Yeah. Um, Thank you. <laughs> your hoodie was invading my personal space. Okay, so uh, gameplay. gameplay wise, I played this game twice. I was sadly unable to enjoy it. Like, if you like it, more power to you. I just couldn't. There's a lot of small things here that don't really come together for me and the game suffers from the issue of incoherent turns like there are so many free actions here that I just get lost now it's not just my problem I'd be happy to say oh it's my problem that game's not for me but we undid so many turns here mm -hmm. so many turns and a game that puts you in a position where you're looking at your friends and you're like, no, you can't undo that. That's one less point for you. Now you lost. It's just not... Mm -hmm. It's an issue of how the game was designed, not the players themselves. The game really reminded me of uh, Gaia Project mm -hmm. because Gaia Project does this thing well. 
you have seven actions, they're big, but your free actions are restrained or limited in a way. That is, you have to give up resources or you have to give up a turn, and that gives the game structure, whereas here, you're just like, oh, I forgot the crate, oh, I forgot the this, oh, I forgot the that, and I don't know, it just doesn't flow. There's also a distinct lack of uh, cohesion when it comes to what the heck am I supposed to do with the resources. Mm -hmm. Like, we build two boats at most. Yeah. How am I supposed to get coinage for the rest of them? I mean, theoretically, I could get the expand, the upgraded worker, and then the this, and then the that. But but Close. how am I supposed to get that? Okay, sure. Am I supposed to build the fortress? Am I supposed Close. to build? Am I supposed to build the trading stations? There's too much here. Mm -hmm. No matter how you look at it, there is way, way too much here, and it's also an issue of game balance because I. I don't know, how, how am I supposed to get to this? Mm -hmm. I've never built more than three. And I feel like the game doesn't allow me to focus on something because everything's so tiny and incremental. Because if I do this, I get two VP. And let's look at Idan's area and let's see what those two VP will give me. It's just, yeah, your churn stretches like bubble gum. And everything is so intertwined with everything else that you can't really give up on anything. You can say, oh, I'm not going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna to expand. I'm just going to build up. And then you're stuck. Mm -hmm. There's also things that I get why they're done, but I'd be happy if they weren't. Like restricting you to building on the highest. I understand that that's so you don't accumulate resources, but I'd rather have the height capped. Mm -hmm. It would have been a lot easier than me staring at the board and thinking, okay, if I get this here and then I do this and then that is a free action, then now my highest is a two and I can choose between the... Uh. Yeah, and that cycles back to the, to the endless little things you can do during your turn. Yeah, removing one or two mechanics and then removing one or two of the restrictions would have benefited this game so much. Like, why, why do we need the food? The food is single purpose. Remove mm -hmm. the food, remove the food tile, cap the height, and it's a different and, dare I say it, more interesting game. But, uh, okay. yeah. I highly agree. No, nope. okay. that's yeah. a nope from me. Okay, what did I like? I like, first I like the, the, the spatial uh, feeling you get from building your own peninsula. I like building up, I like looking at it from above at the end of the game and see I did something unique that's probably not going to get uh, built again on, on the next game, if it ever happens, which it won't. Um, I like that um, you can, you sometimes need to pay resources to other players, but you can say, I'm a, just take something from the general supply, I'll get anchored, which is really not a big deal. No. It's, it's a nice mechanism. It really um, deals with a problem you have in a lot of games where you feel, oh, I'm sorry, I have to steal something from you, or I'm, I need to give you something, but I really don't want to, but, so I'll do it, but it will kind of ruin my, my fun. So this does it very well. I wish more games that had this kind of mechanic. Um, what else did I like? I like the restrictiveness of, of the storage that I had to solve this puzzle of what do I do first, but there are too many things you can do. So that really uh, ruins that for me uh, at the end. Um, I did not like the fact that for five turns I've been playing more or less the same game. Um, this By yourself. By myself. This game does not progress at all. You, gain, you, you build up a bit, so you get more resources from, um, use, from uh, placing tiles, which is kind, I get this is the engine behind the game, but it's just not enough. You build up a bit and then you spread out and the game really tells you, I think I think that every game is going to look the same. You're going to build up for two and a half turns and then you're going to commit to one or two end game uh, scoring opportunities and then you're going to spread to cover uh, whatever you can and gain the resources to feed because you need more food towards the end of the game. And that will be that. You'll never play this game differently. Well, well in my opinion, there's no reason to play this game differently. And... Yes, you can do too many things. 
Five boats for, what, 21 coins? That's insane. You're never going to get more than nine coins during this game. Um, five workers, no, sorry, four workers you can, you can set free, and you really need workers in this game, and you start with two of them. I mean, why? Come on. Why, why be stingy? Mm-hmm. Um, everything is like 75% baked here. Like, they could have playtested it more, they could have um, balanced it a bit better, streamlined it a bit. It's like, it could have been a great game. Mm -hmm. Really, it could have been. And at this point, I don't see a reason for me to ever play this again. I didn't suffer, I just, I just didn't have fun. Not for a single minute of it. Okay. Um, so for me, I think that I sort of can take bits and pieces from what you said, from you two guys said. Um, I do like the fact that um, I get to build my own board and I like the fact that it is unique and I like the puzzly nature of trying to, and this is just a, um, an abstract puzzle, right? Of trying to uh, um, mi mix and match uh, colors basically for resources. So that's nice in terms of the puzzly nature of it. And I do like the little bit of um, uh, specialization that I get from picking my own cards, but it's it's not evident enough. It, like, it's not a strong enough mechanism. I wish I had more special abilities because then uh, not only will I feel like I'm doing a different thing from you guys, but I think that it'll uh, help the variability of the repl replayability of the game. So maybe, so again, I wish I had more specialized things to do. And um, I think the different actions make sense. Um, the fact that I can do a specific thing every action is, is nice and I do like the fact that I can gradually uh, unlock more workers. I do think that just having two workers at the beginning of the game is a little bit just not fun enough because I want to do more. Um, the end game scoring opportunities are okay. I feel like they're maybe a bit too demanding in terms of the things that you let go of if you really want to claim them. Yeah. And yeah, and I think that the things that we do between rounds, like scoring for statues and scoring for these specific things, and they don't feel like they're, again, they're a fun mechanism. I could build my statues early in the game to maybe rack up a little bit more points, but that I'm letting go of so much other stuff that I couldn't do. So it's not a fun puzzle or not a fun decision to yeah, make. Yeah, it feels like homework a bit. And, um, but I, I, another thing that I like is the fact that there are the special workers which give extra things. That That's something that I like because then I get to make a, uh, an interesting decision of which bonus do, do I want to take and essentially which bonuses I'm not going to take. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. Um, what else? Yeah. Uh, Bottom line, I think that it has too many mechanisms and they are all too small decisions. And I think that all of the free actions and the the limiting of the storage and the market, they're all little components of the gameplay that are just, they, they just don't feel necessary. And I do agree that this definitely feels to some extent like Gaia Project or... Um, Mystic Terra Terra Mystica. Terra Mystica. I always forget. Come on, it's name. staple. You should know the yes, name. Yes, yes, yes. Terra Mystica. And you like it too. Yeah, and I like both of them. And it, it's very evident that the game takes its uh, reference from them. While you were talking about specialization and, and the cards, I, I had a thought in my head that mm -hmm. they should have replaced the cards with uh, tech tracks. And then I realized mm -hmm. then I'd be playing Terra Mystica. And I'd rather be playing Terra Mystica or Gaia Project okay, at this perfect. point. Yeah. Um, well, maybe. I mean, I like the fact that they not necessarily sort of go up in levels, that there are different things. So I like the fact that that's different. But, um, yeah, the, uh, oh, and by the way, I, I really, really, like, it really turns me off when games at this um, weight end up with yes. 25 points. Yes. I don't know why, maybe it's psychological, but if I work so hard at something... And I, I put so much thought into something, 21 points just feel like... Yeah, it goes, it goes to this game being ridiculously underwhelming at, at, at what you get out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the yeah and i think that it goes hand in hand with the fact that the rounds feel the same and there is like no crescendo there's no climax at the end of the game um, yeah, except you, you, for this work, but it's so, so you little point super hard you make so many small yeah. free actions and decision to build up to a turn where you gain three vp unbelievable yeah <laughs> yeah three vp is like what uh a ship or i don't know three times a statue yeah build 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 a statue in the same and turn and, and deliver something yeah. and including the end the end of the round you get four vp and it's like array yeah so uh bottom line i i sort of value the effort and the like it's a nice try of building something this heavy that also feels very uh, uh, coherent and uh, very symbiotic with, within itself. But I think that it didn't manage to do that, at least for us. Yep. Well, we'll, we'll have Cooper Island 2 in three or four years. Cooper Island what? 2. 2? Yeah. yeah re return to Cooper Island. Yep. Yeah. And maybe some of the things will be streamlined. Direct yeah. video. And again, yeah. I'm sorry for being a mean Sandra here, but I, but yeah. I was just like, why aren't we playing Gaia Project? Because because this feels like all the ideas from Gaia Project just you know dispersed everywhere. Yeah. So bottom line, I don't think I can. I mean, if you really like heavy games, maybe you should try it. But again, I think that there are better heavy games that succeed in uh, doing the thing that this game I think tries to do. Um, so that's it for me. Yeah, maybe at, at the very least it's unique. Yeah, yeah, maybe, very... maybe get it if you're into solo games. I hear the solo mode should mm. be really good compared to other uh, solo games, and it's it's really on the heavy side. So if you want to play a heavy solo game, this might be for you. Mm. Other than than that, definitely not not for me. Okay. So, uh, just as a quick reminder, if you want to look at the first round of the Game of the Rules overview, there is a link in the description below, and also the full playthrough video. Mm-hmm. Yep. No. And that's it from us. Yeah. Links should be, like, all over the place. But, yeah. uh... Okay. Yeah. No, you're looking at me, but I no, like I have nice. nothing. I have all right. literally nothing. I all my energy has been drained. The mean Sandra has been channeled yeah. and left the room. Okay. Nice Sandra is here. Yay. The doggy is cute. The doggy is cute. Thank and also you. Also, the intro story is adorable. The what? The intro story, yeah. the one about yeah. the, the dog. Yeah, the dog. Dis dog discovering the the island. Yeah, that yeah. was fun. Yeah, thematically it's cute. Yeah. So thank you, Leo. Thank, thank you guys you. for having me again. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.